Hello, everyone. Welcome to Meet Mahe Dubai Online, a webinar session of Manipal Academy of Higher Education Dubai campus, or shortly Mahe Dubai. My name is Vinod Chakravarti. I head the admissions and marketing for Mahe Dubai. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today. Uh, these are tough times, and as responsible citizens, we are all locked inside the safety of our homes. While we are locked inside the safety of our homes, we also should continuously prepare for what awaits on the other side once we are back to our normal lives after this pandemic is over. I know there are students who had just completed their schools and thinking about what's next. Parents who are checking out on what's going to help their kids' future. And of course, there are working professionals who would like to upgrade their skill sets and credentials, especially in a very tough market situation right now, are looking at various options. I'm happy that you're here. And it shows that uh, despite these tough times, you are already preparing for the future. This uh, Meet Mahe online webinar session is going to try and answer a few of your questions, if not all, and provide some information on the offerings of Mahe Dubai, uh, the eligibility criteria for getting into our programs, various facilities that are offered at our campus, and what you can expect as a student of Mahe Dubai. And uh, we'll try and help you to take an informed decision about your future. On that note, uh, we will start with a small presentation, uh, which will talk about whatever I told just right now uh, to you about the programs and other offerings of our campus, uh, post which we will have a small Q&A session with the attendees. I can see around 40, 45 people who have joined us. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, so uh, there is a chat window under uh, your uh, one of the panels that you could see. There is a chat window where you can post your questions. So post my presentation, uh, I will try and answer as many questions as possible. Uh, please, uh, in case if at all your question is not picked to be answered, uh, don't feel bad. Uh, of course, our interaction with Mahe Dubai, your interaction with Mahe Dubai is not going to end today. Uh, our admission offices will continue to be in touch with you. And uh, so post Q&A session, if not in case if at all they're not in touch with you, they will reach out to you and uh, help you in each and every step of your admission process to join Mahi Dubai. So going to the presentation, as you could see, uh, Manipal education has started its journey in education in uh, 1953. What started as a Kasturba Medical College in a small town called as Manipal in Karnataka, India, after close to about 70 years, have made its presence across the world uh, we would like to uh, say that sun never sets in Manipal and true to that saying, uh, we have our presence in Americas in the form of uh, American University of Antigua. Of course, we have campus in uh, Dubai in the Middle East. Uh, we have uh, campuses in India, in Nepal, and also we have campuses in Malaysia. So uh, Manipal has its footprints across the globe uh, with offering various programs to the lakhs and lakhs of students. So you could see in my presentation in the slide that you're seeing, there's a small town. That's what how uh, 1953 Manipal looked like. And uh, that is Dr. TMA Pai, who's founder of Manipal uh, Education. So it's a small uh, presence about a small slide about what all campuses that we have uh, across the globe. Uh, the first one, what you're seeing is our uh, Mahi India campus, which is again, like I told you, it's it's located at Manipal, Karnataka. It, uh, Lacks and lacks of students have uh, passed out uh, from Manipal in various streams, uh, be it healthcare, be it hospitality, be it uh, engineering, be it media communication, business. And uh, to the right of it, you could see there is a campus which is called as Manipal University Jaipur, State University, which is located at Jaipur. We have Sikkim Manipal University, uh, which is located at Gangtok, Sikkim. And uh, of course, there is Manipal College of Medical Sciences, which is there at uh, Nepal. Outside India, you can see we have uh, campuses in uh, Man Malaysia, which is called as Manipal International University. Uh, we have uh, Malacca uh, Manipal Medical College. Again, in Malaysia, we have uh, American University of Ant Antigua. Again, it's it's uh, from uh, it, it's a medical college uh, in in Antigua. Apart from that, we also have a fully online university, which is called as Global Next University, 
uh, based out of Malaysia. These are the campuses that we have uh, apart from Mahe Dubai. Mahe Dubai is uh, the branch campus and the only branch campus of Manipal India, the one, the campus that you saw in the, uh, the previous slide. And we started our existence uh, in the year of uh, 2000 with close to about 60 students. And uh, since its inception, uh, in the last 20 years, close to about 4,000 students have passed out. And uh, we are located uh, in Dubai International Academic City, a 750,000 square feet campus. Uh, with uh, with state of the art infrastructure along with its hostels as well, and we house close to about 2,000 to 2,300 students across various streams and programs. Uh, like you could see in the slide, we have close to about 4,000 students who had passed out our campus in the last 20 years as well. So Mahe, these are the credentials of Mahe. Uh, Mahe is uh, recognized by. Uh, Ministry of Human Resources India, UGC, it is, it's a deemed university. And uh, in Dubai, of course, KHTA, Knowledge and Human Development Authority, Dubai has recognized our uh, thing. Of course, uh, WES, World Education Services, also recognizes our degree. Uh, these are our credentials. And this is the recognition your degree certificates in case you join and complete your education with us will carry. Uh, this is one of the testimony to uh, uh, to our claim as one of the top universities in the region. KHTA has rated at uh, rated us at four stars, one of the very few universities in the campus in the in the Dubai region, which has uh, got more than uh, four stars, uh, <clears throat> and we are one of them. And uh, yeah, of course, this is one of the awards that was given by Forbes Middle East last year for. Uh, our outstanding support to students. The uh, award itself is called as uh, Forbes Middle East Outstanding Support for Students, one only university to get this accolade. Uh, apart from that, Manipal uh, University, Manipal Academy of Higher Education is also has uh, got a very proud tag of Institute of Eminence last year by Ministry of Human Resources Development, uh, Government of India, one of the six universities to get the same time and one only three private university to get this accolade <clears throat> apart from this of course we are ranked as number one private indian universities by qs and uh, second uh, private uh, indian university by narf so this is a small uh, infrastructure uh, shot of uh, our campus since of course our campus is closed and uh, uh, for temporary until uh, until june so you will not be able to come and see the campus so we thought we'll uh, catch few pictures and show to you. This is how our campus looks like in beautiful daylight and at night. Uh, we have a fully uh, functional, uh, fully equipped library, so to say, and we also have sports facilities within the campus. And uh, as you could see, uh, one of the engineering labs in your uh, slide, we also have uh, labs for uh, School of Media and Communication, School of Design and Architecture, and School of Life Sciences. So this is a small snapshot of our infrastructure and facilities of Mahe Dubai. So we offer close to about 40 plus programs uh, catering to students who are aspiring to join undergraduate program, uh, postgraduate program, certificate courses, foundation courses, as well as research programs. Uh, so these programs are offered under these schools that you could see, engineering and IT, business, media and communication, design and architecture, life sciences, and department of arts and humanities. So we have 40 programs. Uh, undergraduate and postgraduate programs offered uh, to uh, the students who want to join and study in the day program immediately after their school, and also for the students who uh, who are working professional and want to upgrade their skill, we skills we offer uh, evening programs and weekend programs uh, for the things. I, I could see a lot of questions coming in. Uh, uh, we will answer those questions. So don't please uh, don't think that I'm not answering right now. We will answer the questions. Uh, at the end of my presentation, definitely I'll pick uh, the questions and answer wherever I can address it myself today. So please, please keep the questions coming in. I'll, I'll answer the questions at the end of the session. So these are the programs offered at Mahi Dubai. And uh, like you could see, School of, School of Engineering and IT, a BTEC engineering offered in the day. We have chemical, civil, computer science, electrical and electronics, mechanical and mechatronics. Uh, and also we offer BTEC in evening program, which uh, in these streams, civil electronics and mechanical. And of course we have BSc information systems and management for, for PG aspirants, uh, MTech program and MSc uh, information systems. 
and PG diploma in data sciences program, which is a one year program is offered uh, specifically in the evening. School of Business has uh, become uh, professional, become professional with ACCA. It's a separate batch for the ACCA aspirants. We have BBA program. BBA program is also offered in the evening time. And for the PG people who are aspiring their degrees in uh, business streams, we have MBA Global Business, uh, which is which is a three country program, uh, which is also delivered in day. And uh, we have a weekend and uh, evening program, which we also call call it as work mode MBA. It's, it's specifically designed for working professionals, suitable suitably provided in the evenings and weekends. We also have a one year PG diploma in logistics and separation management for people who are interested in uh, logistics field. Uh, we also offer BA Media and Communication and MA Media and Communication, one of the top programs that is offered at our campus. We have also a uh, one year certificate program in graphics and multimedia. This is offered in the School of Media and Communication. Uh, we also offer a BR program, which is uh, recognized and approved by Council of Architecture uh, and uh, Bachelor of Design BDES program certificate program in interior designing and postgraduate program which is called as ME, MA in interior designing. So these are the programs that are offered uh, in the media and communication and design and architecture. We also offer programs uh, in the in the life sciences category. We have BSc biotechnology and BSc food and nutrition. Uh, we also have for PG aspirants, we have MSc medical uh, biotechnology and MSc molecular biology and human genetics. Uh, under Department of Arts and Humanities, we also offer BA Humanities in which you can major in psychology, uh, English, or sociology. So these are the programs that are offered at Mahe Dubai campus. We also uh, offer a PhD in engineering, uh, management, and biotechnology. And we also offer foundation programs for students who are not meeting our eligibility criteria to join our graduation program, uh, especially the students who are at all levels to fast track their education. Uh, they can do one year foundation program, which will act as a bridge program to uh, join in our graduation program. So uh, so that's that's foundation program. One year foundation program is like and we also have English enhancement program, Cambridge certified English enhancement program. So those are the programs and uh, programs offered at Mahe Dubai. So like uh, like what I was telling you there, there are 40 plus uh, programs that are offered under five schools and uh, Department of Humanities, Arts and Humanities. So based on your eligibility, uh, major, major, majorly for undergraduate aspirants, uh, day aspirants, you have to have a, a 12th or equivalent A levels or AS levels or IB curriculum. Uh, students can apply for our undergraduate programs and for post-graduation, any graduation from a recognized a recognized university can apply for uh, PG programs. So for more details regarding our eligibility uh, related queries, if you want to find out if you're eligible or not, you can always uh, reach out to our, uh, our, our, our admissions offices or the admission officers who will be in touch with you. You can clarify your eligibility related queries. Going to the next slide. Okay, so I, I spoke about uh, the programs that are offered. Uh, for for there is there is a handout that you can see where you can see all the fee details for all these programs. So how much you have to pay and stuff like that. However, uh, we also reward your hard work in academics and sports by offering academic scholarships based on your marks. You will be eligible for various uh, scholarship category, and uh, <clears throat> so and also based on your various appearances in sports events in your school or a national level or an international level, you also get a sports scholarship. So these scholarships, once you get in the first year, provided you meet certain basic criteria, stays uh, as long as you are there with Manipal, Dubai, as long as you complete your education, that uh, eligibility, <clears throat> that eligible scholarship of yours, which you got in the first year will continue. So yes, so we, we I spoke about the program. So uh, there are there are physical classes that happens in the campus, but also we pride uh, ourselves about how we, embed technology into our uh, teaching system and our learning system uh, you can you can see in front of you we we are fully technology enabled campus in fact uh, uh, when we were asked to temporarily shut our campus uh, and then provide e-learning the very next day even before the ministerial degree uh, degree came and 
we were equipped to deliver our classes online and our faculty in no time were able to deliver classes online since it was all available already so you can see there is something called a call poll where the communication the notification notices everything uh, is done through that uh, there is a learning uh, management system there is a portal where your online course materials online classes are uploaded in the form of edunext and uh, there is there is a coursera which is a global online learning platform where internationally recognized universities so please feel free to google about coursera we coursera is our academic partner all the students who are joining our course are also uh, allowed or so are also given access to these programs and certifications that are offered by coursera so in fact there are few programs few courses from coursera is also embedded in the curriculum so while you are uh, joining our campus and studying our programs and other things uh, you will also be able to get additional certifications from coursera uh, various other platform we also have online assignment assessment tool online research repository so basically what i what i am trying to say here is in spite of whatever uh, uh, hiccups that we faced during the last 2 3 weeks that we couldn't go to the campus we are fully equipped to handle this and once you're back in the campus these all these tools will also aid in your learning so it's not like you're missing out on a class or you're missing out on your notes you can go and refer to your uh, online repository and also take your faculty help to uh, you know read through them so apart from this is what what's the academic partnerships like what do we do we do we have a partnership with other universities other academic institutions to enhance your learning experience yes we do so like i mentioned about coursera there uh, we we are also uh, very deeply connected with the industry relevant uh, institutions like acca for example or bcom students uh, have a separate batch which trains them on acca we have a tally program which is embedded in our program we have a uh, with uh, certification for our media students we have cisco for our uh, bsc ism so you you we we constantly try and tie up with institutions the partners academic partners industry partners to enhance our learning uh, enhance uh, the learning experience of our students and also their qualification so when you pass out of uh, your uh, graduate graduation or post graduation you will not just carry your graduation but uh, so many additional qualifications and certifications provided your focus you take up all these uh, opportunities and uh, put in your effort ah uh, so yes we do all these things and what what after the campus uh, education we have a full fledged career services which helps which facilitates students in uh, getting placements and internships after their education uh, the internship is something that you can uh, get through our career services during your study itself in fact we conduct multiple career fairs where uh, more than 50 60 companies come and participate in the job fairs and our students are who are registered in career services can appear for this uh, appear in this career services and uh, give interview and if they're really good uh, they'll get the jobs of uh, your dreams and uh, like i told you while you're studying we also help you to get internships with uh, our uh, partners our, our industry corporate uh, partners uh so uh, these are of course paid most of them as far as i know are paid internships and uh, also unpaid internships so uh, for the undergraduate students there is there is internship which is part of their curriculum so we are well placed to provide and help students getting that uh, getting those internships and for the pg aspirants who are traveling from say india or africa we also assist in uh, in appearing interviews for these internships Uh, in with our partners and uh, the students can get an opportunity to get internships and placements so uh, all 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 study all work uh, don't play it's not so if you can see uh, in your slide uh, it's quite eventful in mahe dubai uh, there is student centric activities across the year uh, which focuses on the holistic development of a student so like i spoke about career fair Uh, we did uh, TEDx Mahe Dubai a year back, which was fully conducted by our students. There are there are regular sports events that happens to to keep the fire of the sportsmen alive. 
Uh, we also participate in a lot of technology based events. You can see in a picture that there on your uh, screen, uh, the car that is there uh, where the students are proudly sitting on is, is engineered and created in our campus by our engineering students. In fact, uh, every year these students actually participate and are selected and participate in international automobile fest fests that are happening. Uh, Voice Short Film Festival, again, it is, it is, it's like Dubai International Film Festival, very popular among the film fraternity, uh, one of its kind, fully hosted and conducted by our uh, School of Media students uh, called as White Oryx International Short Film Festival, and this happens every year. And our uh, students are also fully focused on a lot of CSR activities that you can see that there are walkathons, there are dance events, there are, there are a lot of uh, events where we help uh, the needy uh, uh, friends and uh, our students are fully involved in all these things to help them understand and learn what awaits them after the application. So you can see there are a lot of pictures that we're talking about, uh, the events uh, that happens in the campus, be it sports, be it project fest, be it international visits, cultural events, industry connects, conference, research, you name it, it's there in our campus. So that's that's what I meant by it's quite eventful in our campus. So you can go to our social media pages. Uh, whatever I'm telling is just the tip of its iceberg, tip of the iceberg. You just can go and explore uh, whatever that's, that's happening, continue to happen in the campus. So, uh, so that's 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 a small brief about our campus. If if uh, that's all not enough for you to take a decision on uh, joining Market Dubai, this is just a summary of it. Like I told you, this session is not uh, you know doesn't cover everything, but of course, it uh, it it will be a good starting point for you to see what all are on the table from Mahi Dubai. And in case, if at all, you need more clarification, stuff like that, of course, you can ask the questions now. And post that, uh, you can, uh, our admissions officer will help you to, to, to uh, you know, to help you to join our campus. So just to sum it up, like I told you, we have 40 plus programs uh, offered in our campus across uh, streams, across specializations. Uh, to join in, to reward your hard work in your previous uh, uh, education, previous qualifications, etc. We give merit-based scholarships, sports-based scholarships. So that's that's something there. And uh, we have close to about 150 plus uh, staffs who are globally recognized. We have we have PhD holders. We have fully equipped, experienced staffs. To uh, we we if one thing, if you ask me, what stands out in Market Dubai? Uh, than anything else, it's, it's our faculty. They're absolutely uh, brilliant in terms of giving personalized care in terms of your learning experience is uh, concerned. Uh, our curriculum, of course, it is based on uh, uh, Manipal, India, since we are a branch campus of Manipal, India, but it is, it's, it's designed and it is delivered, which will actually satisfy whatever is industry requirements. I've spoken about 4,000 students who had passed out our campus. They are all actually post that or in various jobs, and if they want to continue in some uh, research, education, or something like that, of course they 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 are well uh, equipped to do that. Research and project-based learning, of course, we are like I was talking about uh, the research and project-based learning is very critical to evaluate uh, quality of any education, and uh, so. So we are quite strong in that. Like I told you, we have three research programs, management and engineering and life sciences. We have close to about 10, 12 research scholars who are uh, working along in the, in the various schools. We have full-fledged career services, which facilitates placements and internships. Good students get jobs quite easily. Uh, if, you, if you Last year, uh, the highest paid student, I mean, like I, I don't have the complete details we will have, one of a uh, specific session uh, from the career services. Uh, I think it's around 15,000 dirhams for an MBA graduate. So, so the, the, the good qualified student was focused and work along with career services. Career services is fully equipped to help you get a, a good job, job of your dreams. Uh, Tech-based pedagogy. I, I spoke a lot about technology, how technology plays a critical role in our uh, Manipal Dubai teaching and learning global collaborations and academic partnership that uh, that you can see uh, in the this thing. 
So uh, this, these are our contact information, manipaldubai.com, our social media pages. Please do visit, see our list of programs, see, see what is the fee structure, what is the application procedure. We are fully online. Uh, you don't need to come to our campus and uh, risk your safety right now uh, on the way, not in the campus. So uh, the, the, you can apply, you can reach out to, to your uh, uh, admission officers. They will help you in case if you have specific question about some engineering program, some BCom program, some something or uh, something you would uh, some something that didn't uh, get addressed by the session. Please, please uh, feel free to reach out. Please free to express uh, what uh, specific question that you would like to get clarified by our admissions officer will happy to connect with our faculty. They will be available to even have a face to face uh, video session and uh, clarify your doubts. So these are the numbers. Uh, you, if, if at all, in case if you people want to talk to me as well, you can definitely reach out through your uh, admissions officer. So uh, on that note, I would like to. I, I see a lot of questions that is coming up. So I'll, I'll I'll quickly move on to the questions that's being asked by various people. Okay, I'm just coming to the question so that you know it it answers uh, the general uh, public. So just uh, pardon me for a couple of minutes. I'm just coming. There are a lot of questions. Thanks, thanks for all your questions. Just please uh, keep them coming in. So. Okay, there's a question on transport. Yes, we do have transport uh, uh, services available uh, during our university operations right now. Of course, when since our campus is not operational, there is no transport services at all. But we do have uh, transports from uh, Sarja, Ajman, Dubai. We have buses running across uh, throughout the year during the uh, calendar, academic calendar year. We also, uh, for the students who are willing to come from uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, our uh, Russell Kaima places like that, we, we do facilitate. So yes, we have transport services. And uh, I've got a question, how how the working days work at the college in the sense, is it flexible enough to be prioris prioritized by us? I didn't get the question. So in case uh, if, if you guys are talking about uh, uh, the timing of our university for the day program, our campus runs uh, between uh, eight o'clock to four o'clock. So for the working professionals uh, during the evening, it is between seven o'clock to 10 o'clock. Uh, for the weekend uh, on Fridays, it is between three o'clock to nine o'clock. And uh, during the, on Saturdays, it is nine o'clock to three o'clock. So, uh, so depending on the programs that are, uh, that, are that you're joining, we need to clarify on the timings and the days that the classes are conducted. So, yes, for the working professional, if your question is whether it will, uh, uh, whether it is flexible enough for you to uh, understand. Of course, there is an increased online content. I, I already made it uh, very clear that uh, there is uh, technology-enabled learning is available. Of course, you will be required to attend your classes, uh, give examinations, and stuff like that. But uh, these programs are, of course, designed to suit the need of working professionals. So. It is, it is going to uh, help you on that front. So it should not be a problem for the working professor. So like I told you, closed about out of 2,300 students right now, we have closed about 600, 700 evening program students. So you can understand that, that uh, we are one of the preferred option for the working professionals. Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting a question from uh, related to visa. Yes, uh, university uh, helps in helps in uh, getting you visa. So we have a we have a PRO office. So in case if at all, uh, in case if at all you guys want uh, 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 visa sponsored by our university, our uh, you need to pay the necessary visa fees and stuff like that. So our, our PR office will help you to. Uh, get visa sponsored by university in case if at all if, if you're a UG aspirant uh, UG aspirants and uh, you would want your visa to be sponsored by your parent itself yes we will be able to give you a bona fide certificate that you are our student and then you can apply under the sponsorship of your uh, parents so yes so visa facilitation is available I get a question from Shona Kaur on do you consider all kinds of sports for sports scholarship? Yes, if you are if you have participated uh, and won uh, or even if you have regularly participated in your schools, school level, national level, international level. Uh, so for participation and for winning various categories, there are there are various scholarship levels. So I've told you right up to 5% to 50% uh, you stand a chance to get 5% to 50% sports scholarship. And uh, post that, of course, your uh, participation in the university events will uh, help you to continue with those scholarships or to get more. So that's that's about sports scholarships. Okay, there is a question about the eligibility. There are there are we we are aware there are exams cancelled even in Dubai. Uh, there are exams uh, for CBC students are cancelled for A levels and uh, IB curriculum students also the exams are cancelled. We are aware of it. Uh, we are working closely with uh, the schools, school boards, and stuff like that. So of course uh, there will be uh, qualifying. It could be either 11th standard or it could be your earlier term examinations, which which will be certified by the respective board, CBC or IB or British curriculum. So based on that. Uh, we will follow the eligible uh, eligibility requirements. So, so we will we, we are all awaiting for their uh, notification on that. So, yes. So, I hope that answers your question, uh, Ria. <clears throat> so, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, just to stress more on what Ria's question is, I don't think so. You should be more worried about uh, uh, your results. Uh, there are there are, as far as I know, since we are also working closely with the boards. Uh, they are they are uh, they are analyzing various scenarios and situations in order to come to a best uh, possible solution for this qualifying examination uh, this thing because it's it's a it's a pandemic we, no, no one can help you can't help even the schools can't help so so we all await uh, information on that so uh, we we have noted your uh, details so we will we will get back to you as soon as uh, we get something some information on that. Okay, I get. I have got a question from Anish Srivastava. He's asking, do you have any three plus one option uh, in BE course? For example, can the student complete three years in Maghi Dubai and then go on to do the last year in US or UK? If yes, can you advise which universities do you have a tie up with? We have uh, so many universities who are partners with us. Definitely you can, provided you meet the eligibility criteria of the partner universities, you will be uh, you can uh, take a university transfer after your first year or second year or third year we do have students who have transferred not just from engineering from other programs also there are even student exchange programs the students have completed one semester in a partner university and had come back and uh, joined us uh, uh, we, uh, there are there are details related to uh, again about many universities what is the eligibility criteria to join there and stuff like that but i would uh, for for because of the time limit i would uh, uh, direct your question to one of our faculty uh, and also our admissions officer will help you to get get that uh, meeting with your faculty arranged so that you can get uh, your specific question answered. Uh, how is a normal course different than the one with ACC? What's the value addition of ACC? ACC is, uh, uh, I don't know if uh, student uh, students can understand uh, like a CA, Chartered Accountancy, it's, it's it's a ACCA is a UK based chartered accountancy. So uh, it's it's a highly sought after certification program. Uh, the people who are passing out on that are uh, are uh, 
highly sought after very difficult to pass however we have uh, batch standing for last three years and our students have one of the highest passing percentage in acc examination how we have a separate batch for the students there is a bcom without acca and there is with bcom with acca so uh, the the program that is offered uh, as bcom with acca uh, acca is basically an examination so you also parallel in parallel you get exemptions for uh, acca examination and also you are uh, you will be trained to pass in those acc examinations along with your bcom course so that's that's how the bcom with acc is different from a normal bcom program and it is definitely a value addition in terms of uh, increasing your employability <clears throat> i hope naresh that answered your question there is a question from sadhana more details about the mass media program I, I i think you're asking about i'm not sure if you're talking about the ba media program or ma media program ba media is a three years program uh, we have a journalism tv uh, and uh, all all that uh, journalism and media related uh, specializations which you can specialize which you can major in the third year radio tv sound and uh, there is also an avid certification which is embedded into the curriculum where the, the students who are interested in graphics and movie making can benefit from that ma media is a two years program uh, ba media is a day program and ma media is a uh, evening program is the degree recognized outside in the uae yes like i told you the credentials earlier uh, we are recognized by ugc and uh, and uh, ministry of hrd so it is a recognized degree so based on that recognition dubai gone dubai regulatory body which is called as khd is recognized so uh, if you if you ask me for proof uh, we i told you we have 4000 students who had passed out so those students are uh, studying in various universities or uh, or job are working outside the campus as well i also told you uh, we are recognized by wes as well so yes uh, so, based on all this proves and based on whatever i told you our our degree program is recognized outside india and uae is there an entrance exam no except for br program which is approved by coa coa has an universal uh, eligibility criteria that you will have to apply uh, and appear for a nata exam examination for br program so uh, uh, so except for that program there is no eligibility requirement so since we are approved by coa of course that program uh, you will have to appear for entrance examination called as nata and uh, then you will have to appear of course our admissions officer will help you in registering for nata uh, reminding you about the last dates and stuff like that and then uh, and then travel along with you for towards the pr admission so apart from that there is no entrance examination for any of our programs is there any one year course after 12th for the students who are not carrying graduation yes we have a certificate in interior design certificate in uh, graphics and multimedia and uh, so these are the two programs which you can uh, try and do in case after 12th standard you are not interested in doing a uh, graduation program how to apply for admissions yes uh, 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 it's asked by aman uh, there is an online application uh, link where you'll have to apply for it and once you apply there is an admissions portal based uh, where you can enter all your details and stuff like that then you can upload your eligibility documents so everything happens online so you don't need to be physically present anywhere to apply or complete your admission formalities until of course uh, normal normalcy is expected to restore uh so uh, we are hoping to get back uh, to the campus uh, and start the batch in september so before that uh, during the admission process i'm talking about you can complete everything online so yes uh and uh, during each step of this online procedure to join a campus aman uh in case if your admission officer is uh, not you are still not in touch with any of your admission officers i'm sure you might have entered your details in our while joining our webinar our admissions officers will call you and join okay let me see if there is more questions
Okay, so I want to ask about uh, success uh, rate uh, of our placement. So close to about 80% of the students uh, who had applied and appeared through our uh, program had got uh, jobs in various places. Go to our website. There is a placement page in our website. So we also have mentioned details related to where are these students have joined and where are they working and things like that. In case if you want to talk to any of our alumni who are working in any of uh, the, the programs, uh, or our own students, if you want to talk, we can arrange for a call and you can uh, get clarified. Like I told you, we will have a specific webinar session addressed by our career services uh, manager. So definitely you can ask specific questions related to the career, uh, career services. Like I told you, we help students getting internships and placements. We facilitate. So again, a question by Ashish Kumar on working professionals. Like I told you, we are we, uh, the program itself is suited and flexible for uh, the program uh, for the working professional, the evening programs. I don't know which program you're talking about. Uh, we have all the PG programs except for the PG programs that are offered in the life sciences. We have various programs that are <clears throat> offered in the evening. Uh, our faculty, like I told you, our faculty will travel along with you, knows very well that you are. Uh, your time is precious. You are working in the morning and then coming and studying in the evening. It's very difficult to handle. Totally understand. You don't need to worry about it. Our, our faculty uh, and our system itself will facilitate and support you in total. How many admissions you take for regular MBA? I, and I, I think that you're talking about MBA day program, Uma. Uma Sindura, Uma Sindura uh, has asked how many admissions you take for regular MBA. MBA day program is a limited sized batch. The maximum size of the batch is 25. Uh, uh, so you, there is, there is like I was talking about entrance exam is not being available for MBA global business, which is a three country program. There is an interview session that happens with, uh, with the, uh, with our chairperson and also the program director and based on that the seat is given for mba evening and weekend there is no uh, size limit in a batch there are close to about uh, around 60 students so we have two batches i think i've answered anish Srivastava. naresh kumar Raj, you see the question is answered Shivram, okay, I hope I have clarified your doubts on uh, programs, regulation outside India and UAE. An entrance exam, Karthik Ramesh, I hope I answered. Muskan, job prospects in October. Uh, Muskan, it's very difficult. Uh, I, I, I hear you, Muskan, but it's very difficult to answer right now uh, because uh, it was, it was like I told you, our career services support the students in getting the placements and and internships but right now we do not know what's happening outside we are all uh, under lockdown for the last two weeks or three weeks or so so but having said that of course uh, dubai government is one of the proactive governments in terms of uh, keeping the opportunities aplenty uh, of course we were expecting in uh, export 2020 to start uh, uh, this year and uh, I, I think there will be op uh, if you ask me for my personal opinion of course uh, i see a lot of inquiries coming in a lot of people asking about their next steps. So which means one thing, yes, of course, there is going to be a sizable amount of, uh, a sizable part of uh, economy is going to be hit. So thereby there will be people who will be affected. But I think uh, considering, uh, uh, you know, uh, considering all the elements of a society, I think we will support each other and get out of this COVID situation. And of course, uh, the economic setback that it will create. So answer to answer your question, Muskan, Job prospects in Dubai until the lockdown was in place. It was very good. We do not know how it is going to be once we are open, but I'm fully confident that things will be back to normal in a, in a six months, one year time. Muskan, I answered your one year course later 12th. How many students per class? It depends on the, uh, depends on the program, Shona. If you ask me about, Shona is asking me this question. So uh, if you ask me about <clears throat> a BCom, uh, we have 60 60 batch there is civil engineering mechanical engineering all those programs are 40 years 40 40 students per batch we have uh, 40 students uh, 60 students batch in br we have uh, computer science engineering is 60 
a majority of the PG programs are, uh, you will not see much of crowd because it's it's very focused, except for MBA, for example, uh, say MTech manufacturing uh, engineering or MTech engineering management, it's very focused group. So you will see, you'll not see like, you know, 50, 60 people. There's going to be only uh, like what 10, 15 or something like that. So our PG data sciences, for example, has 50, 15 in the last year's batch. And now we, for the February batch, we have six, seven. So it depends on the, the, the batch. Uh, so the same person has also asked a question about uh, uh, when is the last day for admission? See, uh, I, I told you that batch start is uh, in September, uh, which is likely considering the situation will be back to normal by month end and we will be all back to the offers and stuff like that. So if, if things are going to be normal, I, I don't see any problem in starting the batch by September 15th in case if at all uh, it's going to be delayed. So then we might uh, start our batch uh, by 15 days with a 15 days delay or something like that. But but uh, right now we can't say that. That's that's what I meant. Uh, so so the seats, if you're talking about it, see, we, we don't have an entrance examination like I told you. So it's, it's based on first come first serve basis. So our admissions are open. You can register for the programs of your choice. And as soon as your uh, uh, your situation on your results are out, I would encourage you people to uh, discuss with your admissions officer and pay the first installment of the tuition fee. So uh, so that will secure secure your seats, registration and tuition fees. So as soon as we limit, so I told you right that like around 40, uh, 60 numbers in DCOM, the ACC. So the minute we reach that 60 number we might close down the batch. Uh, last year we had taken some special approvals and had four more students admitted, but as soon as we our seats are full, we will be closed for that particular uh, program. So if you want a seat in your preferred choice, uh, it's earlier the better. So you will have to be regularly in touch with your, uh, with your counselors, your admissions officers. Uh, I'm pretty sure many of you might have been in touch with uh, Anup, Kumar, Nitya Garwal, Renita, Fernandez. So, so please continue to be in touch with them. Uh, you can uh, write it to our admissions and my admissions at manipaldubai.com to understand the number of seats availability and uh, don't delay your decisions much. So, so that's that's what I meant. There's a question on career fair. I'm not understanding the question, so I'll give it a miss. Eligibility for BSc Food and Nutrition, uh, preferable uh, science stream. So in case if at all you don't have 12th uh, or equivalent qualification along with biology is chemistry we also offer a bridge program uh, i think a nine week program or something like that which will be offered along with your uh, program so you will not miss out on your classes so you can definitely apply for food and nutrition angel in a pie uh, irrespective of what is your background we will ensure that you're ready for your uh, food and nutrition course so there is a bridge program uh, there is an additional fees for that. So anyway, so you will have to enroll for that if in case if you don't have a biology background or physics chemistry uh, in your 12th standard, then you'll have to do BSc uh, uh, that page program. Otherwise, you are ready to do a BSc food and nutrition. There is a question on career fairs. I, uh, there are a couple of career fairs are have conducted more than 60. Uh, how if you if you imagine a normal job fair, a career fair, a career mela, how you will see it uh, it's the same way how it is conducted in the campus as well but it is exclusive only for our students so last uh, career fair which was uh, which happened in november and there was one more career fair before we went into the lockdown was scheduled to happen in april uh, we had close to about 60 plus uh, companies participating in the event for various uh, jobs so yes we are running out of time so i'll quickly go through do you check ilts no there's a question on ilts no we don't check Last day to pay the admissions fees. I've already explained to you our batch start is 15th. So be in touch with your admissions officer when they reach out to you. Uh, register for your program. I would encourage you people to register uh, earlier. Then, then maybe in case of at all your, your program preference is uh, changed, you can still shift. But in case if, if, if say for example, BCom with ACCA is something that you want to join, and in case if you wait until October afraid you might not be having seats so there are a few programs which is highly sought after so those seats will go off quickly and uh, there are a few programs which will have opening so why i'm saying this whatever you would want uh, to do uh, as your undergraduation it's critical for you to decide early and join
Anamika is asking job prospects. Uh, Anamika, I've already explained to you about the job uh, prospects. Stay back options. I think you're an international student. Uh, see, uh, uh, a student who's joining in September or anyone who's getting a visa, say, in October, the, uh, say, for example, October 1, we are starting, uh, and the student has got September 15, their visa is going to be open until next year, September 15. So our, our, uh, our programs typically finishes in June. The examination, the final examination happens in June. So in case if a student wants to stay back, uh, they can make a request to university not to cancel their visa so that they can stay until October. So it's, 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 it's if, if without a job or without, uh, without uh, classes, doesn't make any sense to study, so it's a sense to stay back without, but in case if, if your question is if a student will be allowed to stay back and search for jobs, yes, uh, they can make a request not to cancel their visa. So after their education in June, they can stay until whatever their visa validity is available. And our career services will in which ways will continue to continue to help secure uh, interviews for these students. Kishan, uh, sports facilities, cricket, sports scholarships. Uh, Kishan, uh, I think uh, two or three students of ours are part of our UAE international team. So you, I, I had shown you a picture called this Red Bulls tournament, which is which is a world tournament for the colleges. Uh, our Manipal University represented UAE. Manipal Academy of Higher Education um, represented UAE in uh, in that tournament so we we have a very very good cricket team and the few players in badminton are ranked and uh, who, are, who are top ranked in under 19 tournaments on the national level tournaments so we have a multi-purpose all we we give all the support to our students who are like i told you we we give fullest of supports to a student who also want to continue in your sports we also your hard work in sports also will reward you in case if you're playing really well representing the university or a national team or an international team, you will be also uh, getting sports scholarships. Okay, so I, I get to see a lot of questions on uh, scholarships. So what is the procedure for applying a scholarship is a question. See, uh, there is no separate procedure for uh, applying for your scholarships while you're applying. Your admissions officers will evaluate your scholarship uh, eligibility and help you to secure merit scholarship or sports scholarships. Anything else, like uh, uh, like if, if at all you are willing to apply over the girls scholarships, we we offer 100% girls scholarships to to few girls who are economically not so sound but have uh, are meritorious in their qualification examination. We do provide 100% uh, merit scholarship. So these kind of additional scholarships, like in case if you're brother or sister is studying in our campus and you want a while sibling does discount, uh, you need to apply separately. So if it is any special category you are not eligible for, then you uh, your application into the campus itself is enough. You need to discuss with your uh, admissions officer in uh, related to this discounts, scholarships and all those things and they'll help you with more details on that front. So I hope that uh, answers your question, uh, Ramachandran. Uh, entrance test, I've already explained to you, Karthik, there is no entrance test except for BR. Do I need to visit the campus for admissions or can it be done from outside? I, I explained to you again, uh, uh, I'm getting this question from Chujitra. Uh, Chujitra uh, and others, uh, you don't need to uh, reach out. I, I, I do hope that you have left your details. Uh, in case, if at all you have not, please send the mails to admissions at manipaldubai.com. Our admissions officer are waiting to help you out. Our faculty team is waiting to help you out in taking informed decision on uh, the programs that you're offering. Any questions, what, what you want to get answers, whether it is an application procedure or fees or programs, various other things, please feel free to ask. We are here to help you and we are help, here to help you to take informed decision about your future. So that's very, very critical. I know that you will be looking at various university, various programs and stuff like that, but uh, whether it is with Manipal or whether it is with anyone else, it has to be uh, after careful, uh, discussion with the faculty with the team and then you keep every all the options across the table and then choose especially the times like this your next step is very very important and uh, be at manipal like i told you at each and every step of 
uh, selecting your programs and uh, during your application procedure we will be happy to help you uh, we are running out of the time uh, so i will take one last question uh, what is the procedure for international students do you have non-indian students yes uh, i told you we have close to about 2300 students right now on roll uh, close to about uh, 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 90 students are indians or indian expats and 10 percent are international students i told you right like around 40 40 uh, 40 person 40 countries we have students from so we have students from africa we have students from uh, various gcc countries we have, we have we have students even from brazil and various european countries so they are here we are having a fully functional hostel for boys and girls and uh, triple sharing double sharing and single option based on your requirement it is in the campus it's just two minutes walk to your class so it's it's it has its own wi-fi services kitchen services oh, sorry uh, food services uh, laundry services and everything so we have on campus has hostels so yes we do have uh, international students. what is the procedure for international students i told you there is an online application form so it's a it's a link that you need to uh, you, you need to take the help of admissions officer or you can apply it we the minute that you enter your details with us there is a person whomsoever is particular for that particular geography say if you're an indian student if you're an african student or if you're a student who are li who's living in uae our admissions officer pertaining to particular geo will call you and will help you end to end until you join us and you settle in our system so so that's that's the question on uh, uh, that's that answers your questions on international students i hope uh, shivaram so yeah we do have uh, if, in, if at all shivaram you are in india so we do have uh, there is a team which is sitting uh, in india there are there are consultancies uh, agents who are available as well whom you can reach out and talk to uh, we have your details shivaram so we'll reach out to you and explain to you more on this so uh, uh, so due to the time limit i'm 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 not taking any more questions. I'm very sorry. I could see still there are more questions coming in. I really appreciate all of you for joining in and uh, sending sending in your questions. Very, very uh, interesting discussion that I've had with uh, you people. I would like to commend you for uh, following your, uh, following the government guidelines in the fight uh, for uh, fight against COVID. And, uh, uh, definitely, definitely, we we are all uh, hoping that the situation is going to get into normal, uh, get back to normal, and we will be all uh, be back healthy, hail and healthy in the other side of the, the situation. So I, I'm very glad that I've had met all of you and answered uh, your your questions. Like I told you at the start of the discussion, this is not the end of uh, your interaction with Mahi Dubai. I hope our admissions officer will call you facilitate discussions with uh, the other people, other staffs and faculty of our campuses based on your requirement, they will help. So thank you so much again. It has been an absolute pleasure for me to address you and address uh, questions from the participants, attendees. And uh, before I conclude, I would want to remind you uh, on behalf of Mahe Dubai that yes, the situation is bad right now. We are all, uh, we are all fighting against uh, crisis so inflicted by COVID. But on behalf of Mahi Dubai, I just would like to tell that uh, we are uh, in this fight together and we will see this through. Thank you so much. And uh, there is, uh, before uh, uh, you leaving out, there is a handout a tab in your, uh, right next to your uh, session. So you can download Mahi Dubai brochure in that uh, for more details about the programs and fees. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Vino Chakravarti signing off.